What are you doing in my chair? What? Get out of my chair. I'm not in your chair. Get out. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Let's get started. All right, hello, and welcome to another episode of Cybersecurity 101. I'm Mark Hemingway, content creator here at Archer Energy Solutions. Today, I just want to say I hope you enjoyed that open. Not, it doesn't seem like it, but a lot of trouble went into that. Today, we're going to talk about black hats and white hats. So what are what's a black hat and what is a white hat when it comes to cybersecurity? I pretty much know kind of what these are, but we're gonna we're gonna take a dive into it anyway let's see what we got here so what is a black hat and what is a white hat a black hat is a hacker who breaks into systems for malicious purposes uh, a white hat is an ethical hacker who uses skills to improve security so you've got the good guys and the bad guys so i kind of i kind of think back to mad tv where they had spy versus spy and there was the the guy all dressed in white and the guy all dressed in black I think they were both bad though, so I don't know, but I think of that. For the purposes of this this episode, I think I'm gonna mostly look into what a white hat does, because I'm wearing a white hat. I'm just more curious as to see uh, what is that, because a black hat is just a bad guy. That's it. Black hat is a bad guy. It's kind of boring, but a white hat, somebody that does the same type of things, but does those things to stop the bad guys or the black hats. That's pretty awesome. So that leads me to my next question, which is, do most white hats uh, come from someone that was already a black hat? Let's see. So not necessarily. Okay. Some white hats might have uh, started as black hats, but many enter the field with a focus on ethical hacking or cybersecurity education. Well, that's good to know. So, I mean, it's kind of a 50-50 shot. So then you start thinking, okay, so those ones that were black hats, uh, what might prompt a change from being a black hat to becoming a white hat? Legal consequences. <laughs> we caught you, so now you're going to help us. I get like that. A moral shift. I like that. Uh, opportunity. So there's, you can actually make money legitly as opposed to stealing it from people. Uh, community and recognition, and then personal growth. So I wonder when it comes to black hats and white hats, if there's anybody who's famous, who are some famous black hats that transitioned into white hats. Uh, one notable example is uh, Kevin Mitnick. All right, I've heard of him. Um, unfortunately, he just passed away, I think, back in last uh, July. So, uh, a famous hacker who became a cybersecurity consultant after serving time for his hacking activities. Uh, another is Mark Abini, Abini, Abani, Abunu. Basinger, Bassinger, uh, also known as Filber Optic, who shifted to ethical hacking and security consulting. Okay, well, there's a couple of them right there. So I did hear about um, uh, Kevin Mitnick. I know that back in the 70s or 80s, he was in the news a lot. Uh, they were chasing him, trying to find him, and then they caught him, and he, he did serve some time, and then he flipped the script and... Um, Helped them out. All right, so from there, let's kind of dive a little deeper into um, the white hats and, of course, the black hats too. But um, so here I have: um, Are there any innovative or evolving techniques employed by both sides, so white hats or black hats, that are changing the landscape of cybersecurity? On the offensive side, so that's the black hats. Uh, techniques like AI-powered attacks, ransomware as a service, uh, and supply chain attacks are evolving. And then um, defensively, that's the, that's the white hats, advancements including AI-driven threat detection, behavioral analytics, and automated response systems to counter these evolving threats. So there you go. So that's good to know. Next question that I have here is, how do white hats collaborate with the cybersecurity community to share knowledge and improve security measures? White hats collaborate through various means, so we'll just hit these real quick. Conferences and events, uh, information sharing platforms, open source contributions, public research workshops, and training. 
That's good. It looks like there's lots of different ways. I know there was this conference that, or there's this, not, not was, but there is this conference. I can't think of the name of it right now. Maybe I'll flash it on the bottom of the screen here because I can do the research when I'm not recording, but they basically just go in and try and hack different people, different things, and they try and find bugs to help these people, um, you know, with their next patching and stuff like that. So um, that, that event's pretty cool. So check that out. It's really awesome. All right, last question we want to wrap up with is one of my favorites is what is a real life black hat and white hat incident? All right, one example of a black hat incident, uh, it was the WannaCry ransomware in 2017. Uh, let's see, which affected hundreds of thousands of computers worldwide, exploiting a vulnerability in Microsoft Windows. The attackers demanded ransom payments in Bitcoin. I don't think they were, Bitcoin was as popular back then, so. Okay, so then a white hat incident uh, would be the discovery and disclosure of the heart bleed vulnerability in OpenSSL in 2014. They responsibly discovered the issue to the community, allowing for patches to be developed and preventing widespread exploitation. So, that's good. So the bad guys are always doing the bad things. That's what we learn every week. And But it's nice to know that the good guys are doing the good things. So anyway. All right. Well, thank you for joining me once again on uh, Cybersecurity 101. As usual, please put any comments down below of anything that I might have missed. Uh, if there's more that I could have been more specific on or a different direction I could have gone with uh, the questions and uh, what I was looking for today. Uh, don't forget to follow us on our social medias on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. And as always, you know, follow us uh, on uh, YouTube at ArcherU. So, all right, until next week, I'll see you then.